In the pursuit of building a professional impact, acquiring expertise and participating in professional courses has been deemed crucial for achieving tangible growth and advancing one's career. During the event held in Lagos State, emphasis was placed on the importance of professionals equipping themselves through knowledge acquisition to foster personal growth. Stepping out of one's comfort zone and embracing the challenge to become a better professional were highlighted as essential contributions towards making a positive impact on society. The world is moving at a very fast pace. So it's either you are left behind or you join the train. So in order for us to be able to join the train, there are certain things, certain areas, certain factors that we need to put in place. And that is why we have this kind of event for professionals. For us to understand that it's not our lifestyle or our approach to life, to our profession, should not only be limited to the four walls of our profession. There are other areas that we need to incorporate in order to be able to move at that fast pace that we need to move in order to have not only to grow individually, but also to have a sustainable nation and a sustainable continent and extend it to the world at large. This ability to provide solutions to problems is what really makes you a professional via integration of all what uh, that has to do with uh, life generally. The first thing we need to understand as a country is one, we need to be patient so as not to be a patient. And whenever we are working, we don't need to take shortcut because shortcut cuts life short. These are basic principles of life with respect to safety. One of the two very great mindsets we are supposed to have is what we call the unbreakable mindset. We must be focused. We must have resilience. We must be ready to achieve the dreams and objectives of what we have meant to achieve in 2024. And the second mindset is the collaborative mindset where we have to come together. You cannot do it alone. I am because we are. And that is the tone and other aspect of our profession that we want to set in this 2024. The event saw professionals speaking on topics including sustainability of business, structuring, embracing and promoting professional institutions, among others. Risk assessment is just a, 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 a title of the entire risk management framework. It's a whole lot. And it's saying that don't manage risk in isolation. Manage risk looking at the entire enterprise. What is the business they are doing? How is the risk impacting their business and how you can come in to leverage on risk, enterprise risk management framework to help the organization to manage their risk effectively? There are rules that require levels of competence. And part of the competence that anybody attaining to a leadership position must have is the ability to communicate with people. Not having a degree you already reduces your chances of communicating at the same level with those who you want to talk with. So you could even have 30 years of experience. There's a band where you cannot go beyond. You must understand that there is a required skill, competence, attitude, and behavior that you need in order to attain to that sustainability place you want to go to. Um, health and safety can be addressed by many of these institutions or body of laws, but we're not getting the desired results. So what more can we do? And at the end of the day, um, it practically lies in the hands of individuals or employers or organizations to take charge of the health and safety space. After all, health and safety is a culture. It's something you're supposed to grow up with. So you don't really necessarily have to wait for any body of laws or constitution or whatever you have, especially where they're not you know, having an impact. You take things into your hands and make sure that you do things better you know, for the workers in your organization. Don't get to the level of where it descends to punishment. It's about protection of lives. People are working. Let them work in comfortable spaces. People work to earn a living. They should not be working to die. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.